Lola was a very young child, two years and ten months old. She was particularly vulnerable, not being strong enough to resist or old enough to tell anyone what was happening. Kyle Bevan was in a position of trust, having assumed the role, as he described himself to the ambulance crew, of Lola's stepfather. He started to hurt Lola at midnight, and he carried on until she was unconscious at 6.30 a.m. He did not stop when Sinead James nearly caught him in the act when she heard Lola scream at midnight. This was a sustained, deliberate, and very violent attack. The attack was completely unprovoked. There is no suggestion that Lola was playing up in any way before she was killed. The attack would have caused both mental and physical pain and suffering before the onset of coma. It was the culmination of several months of physical child abuse. Well, Sky's Becky Johnson joins me now from Swansea Crown Court. Um, Becky, an absolutely horrific uh, case, this. The details of this case are truly harrowing. Uh, little Lola James suffered more than 100 injuries during that attack at the hands of her mother's new partner, Kyle Bevan. She was so severely injured that indeed one doctor that examined her body described her as the most battered and bruised patient she'd ever seen as her time as a doctor. The attack happened uh, at her mother's home in Haverford West, the home that Kyle Bevan had recently moved into. Indeed, it was the start of the first national lockdown that Bevan moved in with the family. Um, and Lola's mother, Sinead James, had been found guilty and was also sentenced today for allowing her daughter's death. The judge said that she prioritised her relationship with her new partner over safety concerns for Lola. The attack began around midnight and the court heard that uh, Lola's mother had heard a, a bang and gone in to Lola's bedroom and found her there with Bevan. But instead of intervening, she'd gone back to bed and then throughout the course of that night, Bevan inflicted horrific injuries by six 30 the following morning though he still hadn't called for help despite Lola being unconscious indeed um, in quite harrowing detail in this case uh, we learned from the judge that he was instead um, taking photographs and videos of Lola whilst also cleaning uh, her body in the house to try to cover his tracks to remove evidence. He then woke Lola's mother and said that her injuries were the result of being uh, pushed down the stairs by the family dog still covering uh, his tracks and indeed the judge said that he showed absolutely no remorse then and still now has shown no remorse for the attack that he carried out on a vulnerable young child. In fact, the judge said he believed that the attack was an exercise of power, uh, an exertion of superiority over such a young child. There were tears in court. A number of relatives were here to see these sentences being handed down. Kyle Bevan sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 28 years. And Sinead James, who sat for most of the time in tears in the dock next to him, uh, jailed for six years for allowing her daughter's death. The judge said that he did accept in her case that she had shown considerable remorse. Now, we also heard as part of this sentencing impact statements from family members. Nicola James, Lola's grandmother, uh, looked, stared at the dock from the witness box and said to Bevan, look at me, Kyle. There isn't a single moment of any day that I don't think of Lola. I don't think I'll ever come to terms with what has happened. Kyle, you took the young, innocent life of my granddaughter. At the same time, you've taken so much more than you can even imagine. You killed my Lola and you have broken her family. I hope that in the time that you have now, you can understand what you have done. Now, Lola's father was also in court. In fact, he had to leave this hearing. Um, at one point, he clearly became too emotional, but he was there as the sentences were handed down. And a lawyer read a statement on his behalf. He said, I miss Lola every single day and my heart hurts every single day. 
I'm grateful that Kyle and Sinead are recognised for Lola's cruel, defenceless murder, but it doesn't bring me joy. She was brutally attacked. Her tiny body was savaged in the evilest way. She didn't stand a chance. Lola's little life was filled with filth and chaos at the hands of her mother, who couldn't even provide her with basic safety in her own home. The guilt I feel lives inside me and will never leave as the memory of Lola lying in a hospital bed fighting to stay alive will remain with me always. All I have been left with is guilt, heartache, pain and torment. Now, as these two face jail sentences, there is um, a child practice review being carried out by Pembrokeshire County Council. They had had prior contact with the family, not during uh, Sinead James's relationship with Kyle Bevan, but they had been in contact with them before. So a review of that contact with the authorities is being undertaken to see if anything more could have been done to save Lola. OK, Becky, thank you.